Hello, gentle viewers. This is Av Guardian welcoming you back to Out of the World Baseball 24 with the Oakland Athletics. I must first, before anything else, give some props to a commenter. Quite correctly point out that the A's is an apostrophe because it's short for athletics, and therefore it's a contraction. And because it's a contraction, I will allow it. But I'm still not happy about it. It still annoys me slightly, but I'll get over it, I'm sure. Uh, so, it's a brand new season. We've set our roster. We have a couple of top tier players. We have Brian Reynolds and we have Tyler Soderstrom. Tyler Glasnow as a starter. And overall, I think things look reasonably okay. Our starting lineup, of course, is Vargas, Brennan, Reynolds, Soderstrom, Pozo, Misner, Angeles, Allen, and Langoliers. Uh, Vargas is really interesting. I'm really curious to see how he'll do, uh, given the opportunity to play for us every day. Uh, Glasno was a, a target in free agency. We were hoping to get a new starting pitcher, and we got one, at least for now. Uh, Colin Palouse has been a reliever the last couple of seasons, but we're going to try him out as a starter, see how that works out for us. And yeah. We brought old friend Mitch Keller over from free agency to see what we can accomplish there. We have a little bit of free agent money, so if there is a player that we need over the course of the season, we can perhaps potentially target them. But without any further ado, I think we go ahead and get started. So, let's play some baseball. I hit the wrong button. We were undefeated for three whole games. That's pretty awesome. I gotta say. Um, it's only a week. I'm I'm just gonna let him keep playing. Um, and just see what kind of happens there. Man, the mayor has just fucked us up pretty bad. <laughs> Player development. Tyler McGill's a bit better. Ron Marnacho's a little bit better, as is Jose Lopez. Fitz is a bit worse. Hernaiz is a bit better. Alberto Flores has significantly improved his abilities by learning how to throw harder. And in fact, oh, as a reliever, you're rated much more highly. I'm not ready to let you pitch yet uh, professionally, but I am deeply curious about how that works out for you. Jorge Ramirez. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Where is my draft pick this season? I'm picking 30th, uh, which means we're just going to see whoever is there is there. I can't really do much about that. Let's go ahead and simulate through the month of May, and then we'll talk about what we can do to improve the club. Uh, Will Brennan being out for two weeks is probably not one of those things. Um, I'm fine letting Conforto play right. Uh, while Brennan is hurt, so I'm not going to put him in the IL just yet. Misner is a bit more of an issue. So let's go ahead and place him on the IL. And whom do we call up? Clark Elliott seems like a pretty fair choice. That's what happened? There you go. Yeah, Elliot's a reasonably competent center fielder. I don't necessarily want him to start, but I think he's the best bet in the medium term. Uh, 
I'm a little concerned that every single one of my high quality um, scouts has actually, every single one of them have actually lost potential. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, it happens though. I mean, that's a thing that happens, but it definitely gives me some doubts about the strength of our farm system. Uh, oh well. Uh, until the end of the month, if you please, sir. Player of the week. Woo, doggy. Ariel Miranda's a bit better. Mason Miller's a bit better. Okay. It's honestly mostly players like making marginal improvements, which isn't very exciting to me. Braden Egan adding a screwball and throwing harder makes me happy though. Like adding velocity is always a good thing. Okay. So what are we looking at this season? We're looking at Miguel Vargas being genuinely bad. That's probably causing a trickle-down effect for the rest of the lineup. But to be honest with you, the problem is most of our best hitters are not hitting that well. Uh, Brian Reynolds hitting 235 is kind of gross. Uh, Tyler Soderstrom is doing fine. Uh, I wish he were doing better, but he's doing fine. I mean, thank God for Yohel Pozo, who's really hitting baseballs quite well. But yeah, overall, this lineup is not terribly impressive. Um, something probably has to give if we're going to take it to the next level. Thankfully, Will Brennan is extremely effective. He's probably our best regular position player now. Um, so yeah, our lineup as a whole, not super amazing. But let's talk about our pitching staff, which is also not amazing. Um, Ariel Miranda and Colin Palouse are both really bad, and Palouse got kicked out of the rotation, which seems very, very smart. Um, what is Miranda's issue? Miranda's actually pitching at a reasonably high level. He's just getting hit. For whatever reason. So that'll hopefully stabilize as the season progresses. So what can we do to improve the team? Um, Like, this is a terrible look for Vargas. Terrible. And while, look, I'm not going to tell you that I don't think he'll get better. I can't let him bat this high in the lineup. Uh, could you update your choices, please? Or leave it like that. I mean, Mark Conte has faith in Miguel Vargas. I guess I have to give him that credit. But we might also want to think about a replacement third baseman. Let's say Mark Vientos. Or hell, even Max Muncie might be a better choice. Any of you guys ready for a promotion? Nope. Nope. There's enough here, like you're at least trying to hit, that I'm going to go ahead and promote Payino to A ball. Rosman for Dugo, you've repeated A ball and you're not really getting any better. I'm going to go ahead and trade you and try to get another prospect of some kind and just see what I might be able to acquire here. Really? 
Why the fuck would you not even be remotely interested in him? I mean, I'll add to my options. It's really weird to me. You just like, you gross. Like, there are some legitimately good starting pitchers on offer here. Uh, Logan Gilbert. Good stamina, nice fastball, good control stuff and movement. Oh my, his contract explodes. No thank you. No thank you. Ryan McMahon would be an upgrade defensively at third base, but otherwise I think a downgrade offensively, potentially, and he's also way more expensive. I'm not taking care of your mile straw problem, Cleveland. I know how much he sucks. There's something to be said for David Bednar to both screw up the bullpen and give us a potential longer-term closer because we're not going to be keeping Iglesias. I kind of like this move, actually. The other option is Kyle Wright. And Kyle Wright is a really good all-around pitcher. I kind of think he'd be a really good fit. It would cost me more money, but I think this is smart. Let's do it. And then we need to find a starter that we can trade. Let's trade Miranda. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's just taking a moment for it to load. Okay. I'm going to trade for Johnny Escanio, not because I like him, but because it doesn't add anything to my bottom line. And now I can add Kyle Wright to our rotation. Which one does this leave me for extensions? Not a huge amount. Um, a lot's going to depend on Brian Reynolds. Is Brian Reynolds going to ask for... Is he going to opt out? Or is he going to take the deal he's already got? And that I do not know. So we've made our pitching staff better. That is a certainty. The question is, what else can we do to improve this team? The thing is, the Miners don't really have much to offer us right now. Like, Paul Skeens would definitely be one of those guys, but he's injured. And he's not coming back this season. Other than that, I've got a bunch of players that are medium quality. So it's kind of like shuffling deck chairs on the Titanic. Like, it's not terrible, but it's also not going to be the kind of thing that's really going to change our fortunes all that much. Um, if all I cared about was offense, Vientos is probably a better decision than Vargas. But Vargas is also a little bit too good to hit this poorly, so I'm willing to give him one more month to figure out his shit. Um, I 
Are offenses scary in the same way that a bad horror movie is scary? Like, it's scary how bad we are offensively. Like, we've got a fair bit of talent. I don't want to denigrate our team too much, but it also could be a whole lot better. So we're going to have to see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and advance another month. People got promoted. Michael Conforto wants a new contract. I'm not saying it'd be a terrible choice, but you probably want starter money. You just want an extension of basically your current salary. Oh, right. I don't have the money. My owner is being a bit of a jerk. No surprise there. I'd love to bring you back, my dude. I can't afford you. And you're not going to... My owner's not even going to approve it, so... Losing Pozo actually hurts quite a lot, because actually one of our better hitters this season. Um... The most valuable Pozo, as somebody said in the chat. I'm going to go and put him on the IL um, to let him recover. And do I call up Daniel Susak? I don't see why I wouldn't. I need a backup catcher, right? Oh, I need somebody on the 40, man. Fuck you, Randy Vasquez. There you go. I mean, that's fine. Okay, we need Cameron Misner back, which is excellent news. I'm actually pretty happy about that. And Clark Kelly has performed with some level of talent, but I'm not convinced that he should be staying in the minors or majors right now. So I'm going to demote you and call it Misner. go and proceed to the beginning of July. Did I get no hit? Yes, I did. I also love how Vargas got five hits in a game and still is only hitting 220. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, what? Oh, Randy Vasquez cleared waivers. That's fine. Player development. David Lee all throwing harder. That's cool. Cool stuff. Y'all are real young. You might still improve, so I'm not going to give up on you just yet. Okay, Miguel Vargas is actively a millstone at this point. I don't know what it is about him that Mark Kotze feels has to go in the number one spot, but he doesn't need to go there. Here we go. You know what? 
I'm gonna force him to hit sixth, and then make Katze put somebody else to lead off. I like this a lot more. I do think that Will Brennan is a pretty good choice to be a leadoff guy. I'm okay with that. It's better than freaking I'm hitting 220, hitting leadoff. That should help us a little bit. Alcantara is really our other handed DH. Maybe I need a uh, maybe I need like an everyday DH too. I don't know. I'm authorized no money for extensions. Okay, so that is one issue. Mister, I'm going to give a pass to because he hasn't really played that much yet. He just needs some time to, to get back in the swing of things. Brian Reynolds is getting better. Um, Soderstrom is being productive. Again, I wish I could see some more from him, but I'm okay with this. We need a better offense, uh, that's for sure. I don't know how we're fifth at run scored unless it's just magic. Um, the pitching staff's been relatively good, though. Let's sim up to the first year draft. Okay. Um, we've got some coaching decisions to make, specifically like most of the staff. We're all getting along pretty well. Uh, game's being weird. Give me a second. There we go. Who's my hitting coach? Tommy Everidge. Tommy Everidge is kind of trash. I think we're going to let Everidge walk. He's going to be one of the people that's going to find a new job. Uh, Bobby Crosby is fine, I suppose. Jeff Collins is actually a really good team trainer. Let's keep him around for sure. Eric Martins isn't that good. I think we're going to let him walk. And let's offer all the minor leaguers a contract extension. Um, who is being a butt? Gregorio Pettit is. I'd like to keep you around, Mr. Pettit. There we go. So who gets third base coach at the end of the season? It'll probably be a promotion of some sort. I just don't know who yet. Maybe Craig Conklin. He could probably use a promotion to the big leagues. He seems like he's pretty with it. Paul Skeen's number seven prospect. I'd be happier about that if he weren't hurt, but I'm still kind of happy. And I just lost Mr. Angeles for three months. That is no bueno. So who's my best second base option? Mark Vientos can't play second. Duly noted. Hernaiz can kind of play second. Max Muncy can definitely play second. Is he good at it though? He's 55, 55, 50, 50. Let's compare Muncy and Hernaiz. 
Okay, offensively, Hernais is a better contact hitter. Muncie is a better all-around hitter, though. Hernais is a lot faster. Defensively, Hernais is more sure-handed, but Muncie has got better range. He's got a higher ceiling in second, so I think I will pick Muncie, call him up, and he's going to be our new second baseman. Set position, second base, and promoted to the big leagues. Really? Max Muncie hits third against left-handed pitching? I mean, all right, dude. I hope for your sake that's the right decision. Okay, Pozo is awesome. Let's send down Susak and return him. Please update all of the things. Brilliant. I don't love that you're benching him for Jorge Mateo, but Jorge Mateo is a really good second baseman, so it's not the dumbest decision. Uh, but I'd like it a little better if Mateo could hit his way out of a wet paper bag. I really would. It's draft day. Also, thank you to everybody that said there is a mixture of real players and not real players in this draft. And it all, like they like said, the first three, which is pretty cool. This is not a very deep draft. This is a very, very shallow draft. So, who's still available? Well, one of them is Jacob Krieg. Jacob Krieg hits a lot of home runs, potentially. And he's got enough of a... He's got enough of an offensive tool to, to be a little bit more powerful than that. But I'm looking at his college numbers, and they're hardly that impressive. He's got a really good slugging percentage, but I'm deeply, deeply concerned about his ability to be a good major league player. Samuel Kozar has pretty good stuff, movement, and okay control. A nice fastball slider changeup. Way too expensive. Not going to happen. The benefit of Krieg is if Krieg works out, we've got a really good player. But the downside is I already have Soderstrom. So I think we have to get a little bit more creative about a first round pick. Austin Killingsworth can play all three outfield positions quite well with a decent bit of speed. He's not an incredibly thrilling offensive player, but he's young enough that he might learn to be. Possibility. Peyton Brennan is fine, I suppose. He does play at UCLA, which means he's closer to being a finished product. Cam Caminiti. He's a lefty with a fastball, curveball, slide, changeup. He's also a really good hitter, too, though. Like, his offensive talents are a little bit more impressive to me. I mean, if he can pitch and hit, I'm certainly going to use him in both roles. But I think Mr. Caminiti here is a good choice. 
All right. I was interested in Killingsworth with our first round pick. I think taking with a second round pick does make some sense. So we'll do one of those. Gavin Richards is... He's a really soft tosser. But I don't think it's necessarily an issue. Because I think he's... Like, six foot 145 is microscopic. Like, he's going to add weight as he gets older. That's a guarantee. So I think let's gamble a bit on Mr. Richards and see how he turns out. All right. Monsieur Ray Bermudez is not a center fielder, or I'd consider it. Neither are you. Neither are you. Hmm. There's a lot of players here that just aren't terribly thrilling. Uh, who is the best contact potential in this draft? Uh, Jason Jones is honestly probably the pick. He's got contact and power. He can handle himself at third. I think Jason Jones is a really reasonable choice. Yeah. Eh. Pitching potential. Any big strikeout guys? A guy like a Dylan Schwartz does make some sense. I know his control isn't great. But if that improves even a little bit, he could be a really good pitcher. I'm going to go for JT Walden. Uh, he seems like he could be really interesting. And Jared Jones. And then Mr. Wirch, do as you will. And let's get some contracts signed. I bet Cam, Cam Caminiti is related to Ken Caminiti. I can't prove it, but I do think it's reasonably likely. Wait, my third round pick didn't want a bonus at all? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't have a third round pick because I signed Glass. No, that's right. I knew that. Okay, purely based on raw talent level, I don't frankly know who if how many uh, all stars are going to have. Brian Reynolds seems like a pretty fair shot to get an all star appearance. Uh, what a boot. Yeah, it's probably going to be Brian Reynolds. Might be my only dude. No, Mitch Keller made it too, somehow. Yes, yeah, Brian Reynolds and Mitch Keller. All right. Carlos Suarate made it among my pitchers, which is pretty neat. Okay. Wonder who's in the All Star Home Run Challenge today. Are any of my players in it? Nope.
Return to UTP. Liam Hendricks is a really good pitcher. I won't deny that. And Carlos Jorge's got a ton of potential. So does Owen Payino, though. Although he is admittedly not impressed in A or rookie ball. What if I drop Payino from the trade? Interesting. Payino is basically mandatory for this trade to happen. Like, the benefit of Liam Hendricks is we're going to have him next season, too, right? So I think this is still the right trade. I wonder if I could get them to add anybody else to it. What about Anya Laureano? No. That's fair. I'm just going to make this deal as is. I think this is reasonable. Wait, this is your fucking trade proposal. Complete trade. There we go. Okay, so who do we dispose of from the pitching staff? It's Tyler McGill. We'll add Liam Hendricks. Yeah, I'm not saying Bryce Jarvis isn't a decent pitcher, but I don't think he's the right fit for us. Um, I don't need yet another reliever. Cam Pedrosian, meh. Okay, Derek Curiel does have a lot of interest to in me as a true center fielder. I just don't think I want Bedrosian. So what if I drop Bedrosian and ask for somebody else? How about Peter Hubeck? Really? So if I don't take Cam Bedrosian, I don't get the deal? I mean, Derek Curiel is really good. So I will take this deal. I'm not... And we'll figure something out for the outfield. I guess Clark Elliott can come back. That'll be good. Uh, do yo thang. Is there anybody else I'd like to trade? I don't actually want Cam Bedrosian at all, so if I can get any, like, kind of prospect for him, I will take it. Even if it's, like, a mediocre prospect. 
Karen Vavra, good discipline, good gap power, a pretty good second baseman, decent contact. I could get Ahmed Rosario, no thank you. Yeah, this just makes good sense. We're getting a good player who's apparently also a leader, which I didn't even realize, which is pretty sweet. I mean, I don't think he's a left fielder. I think we could play him at second, but... Um, who do I send to the minors to make room for Mr. Vavra? Vavra. You know what? I get it that Jorge Mateo is a really good defender, and I get why you want to play him. But I don't want him playing this much. So I'm going to overrule you. I'm going to make you bench him. And then I'm going to send... Who goes to the minors? I would love to send Alcantara down, so I think I'm going to send Clark Elliott down instead. And then we'll see how you decide to play Vavra. You really do not want to play Max Muncy. You're desperate to play Nick Gordon instead, which I guess. He is a fairly decent second baseman. He's certainly a better hitter than freaking Mateo, that's for certain. Um, let's go to the trading deadline. Uh, Soder's from out for two weeks. That's whatever. As long as he comes back at a reasonable time, we'll be fine. Okay, you're offering me Bryce Jarvis, a reasonably decent starting pitcher, but I don't want to give up Muncy. Um, Yeah, the thing is, I can't afford Kyle Tucker, so that's why I can't have him, which is fair. Who do I want? Uh, I will reject this trade because I have no interest in Bryce Jarvis. Um, what do I want? Whom do I wish? I wish I could sort here. That would be really helpful. I wouldn't mind Logan Webb. I can't afford him, though. I'm sure I can't afford Bo Bichette. No, I can't. Or Bo Fett, for that matter. Um... And Kyle Schwarber is not worth $20 million, Not even a little bit. Austin Meadows wouldn't be a terrible choice, um, but he's kind of like a one-year rental guy, and I want somebody that's got a little bit more staying power. Okay. So who do I want to trade? Rice of the Glaciers seems like the most obvious choice. Like, there's nothing wrong with him, but I'm not going to be able to re-sign him anyway. So, or Mitch Keller. 
Oh, hell no. Mitch Keller wants to get paid big time. Let's trade Iglesias. I could just add like a David Bednar. Is Matt McClain good? Matt McClain is fairly decent, but I don't really need yet another second baseman. I mean, Johnny Ray is a borderline starter. Um, there's a lot of flex. Of, there's a lot of interest in that. Um, but Matt Cantorino is just a better pitcher all around. Let's do it. I'm sorry that the fans are sad, but here we are. What do I actually want? I want young players. Uh, who else's contract is coming up? Mitch Keller's. I could trade Mitch Keller. No, Fujinami is the other guy I'd love to trade. No new trade offers there. The reason I want to trade Fujinami, by the way, isn't because I think he's a bad pitcher. It's because he's really expensive, but maybe I wait till the offseason for him. Shea Langoliers is such a weird player. Like, what he does well makes him worth keeping. But I don't think he's going to have a very lengthy career. I just don't. I don't really have a better catcher, though. Because Pozo can't really catch all that well. Like, he's not the worst catcher, but he's not the best either. So, yeah. What could I get for Jorge Mateo? By the way, very nice. Thank you, OTP, for pausing the timer while I'm asking for offers on peoples. Wow, really? I mean, Visa is at least semi-useful, but I don't think, I think I can probably do better. So who else we got? Who else do we really not want to keep? Like a Ron Marinaccio might be worth a decent amount. I don't know. I don't want to strip, like, I don't want to strip things to the bone, of course. I definitely want us to have some good shit coming up. I trade Randy Vasquez, but frankly, nobody's going to want him. Hmm. What could I get from Mitch Keller? For 
from canning, meh. I don't want anybody that's cost controlled unless they're really, really good. I could get Heliot Ramos. Ramos is a really decent player. Um, there's a lot to like about that. Jack Leiter, who in this version of history has not fared quite so well. Matt Manning is actually a pretty decent pitcher. Let's do it. Trading a player we don't have control for at past the season to someone that we do have control past this season. And you do you. Matt Manning goes right back into the rotation. Any interesting starting pitchers? I can't afford Logan Webb. I'm not even going to ask about him. Griffin Canning isn't very good. Luis Severino isn't bad. It would be taking on salary, but he seems like a pretty decent pitcher. But I can't overpay for mediocrity. I'd love fucking Kyle Tucker. I would do a flip to get him on this team, but I just can't afford him. Uh, even on a rental, I don't think I can afford that. What if I asked you to eat his entire salary? Oh, you can't. Houston literally is not able to do that. Okay. Mm. Rinaldo Lopez. Or not. But that's kind of a cool deal, though. Cam Gallagher. Uh, meh. Like, there's no way in hell I could keep Austin Meadows. Like, he's going to want a shit ton of money. Here's the thing. I'm not even that convinced that we're going to be a great team this season. Like, we might be okay, but... Yeah. Christian Battencourt. I don't need another catcher, but it's cool that one's being offered. Josh Naylor, who now plays for Tampa. Too expensive. I ain't touching that fucking contract. Don't be stupid. I'm just going to go ahead and end the deadline. Because I think I've got what I wanted out of this. Done. Okay. How long is Brian Reynolds out? Damn, Randy Vasquez. Learning how to throw harder at your age is always an encouraging sight. Two days. Okay. Cool. Um, right.
Yeah, I'm not saying Fujinami isn't a good pitcher, but he's wanting a lot of money. And I don't know that that's the best use of our limited resources to pay a pitcher like that six million a year. Maybe it is. Is there anybody here that we want to try to lock up long term? Is there anybody who's so valuable to this team that signing him now while he's still cheap makes sense? Nick Allen isn't going anywhere. I'm not worried about Nick Allen. I could try for Shea Langoliers. Like, a three or four year deal wouldn't be the worst. But he wants to get paid, like, shit tons of money, and that's not going to happen. That is a poor, poor decision to be certain. That's for, like, a ten year deal. Oh, he wants to basically get paid like 20 million a year. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, um, not on the A's. Not unless I'm convinced you can be something special. Let's just sim on down to roster expansion. Sorry about uh, what you guys are probably hearing is for whatever reason, next door, they decided this would be the ideal time to start mowing their lawn. Which is fine, I guess. Ooh, we got an achievement for a home run streak. Neat. It was Pozo hit home runs four days in a row. Cameron Misner is not out for three more months. You're getting to be an injury issue, my dog. Uh, you might be on the way out already. Because say with me, the most important ability is availability. And you're constantly getting hurt. Which is no bueno. Uh, update all the things. Are you doing bullshit? Yes, you're doing bullshit. I fucking hate this. Stop playing Mateo. Stop it. He's getting removed from the team or you're getting fired uh, in the offseason. So just come to grips with that right now. Uh, Ryan Cusick is decent. Uh, let's go ahead and send him to AAA. Oh, he's got to be on the, the, the roster, the 38-man roster. Surely there's like a really crappy player like Brian Howard here. And then I'm going to uh, put you on the 38-man roster, but send you to AAA. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I hate it when managers get a bug up their ass about a specific player. Um, but hopefully that'll get sorted. some roster expansion happening maybe give uh, a youngster a chance to play some second base Luis Carrasco's getting a bit better Cantorino is Rookie of the Month. What? How is he a rookie? I guess he just never pitched that much. That's cool. All right. So... I'm getting rid of Mateo. This is ridiculous. Like, I know he's really good defensively. I get it. But you're being fucking ridiculous right now by forcing him into the lineup.
And I can't change anything else here. Yeah, I'm not going to force it anymore, but he is most up. Oh, I can change this. No, I can't. Yeah, Mateo's got to go. You've got to bug up your ass about him for no good reason. We probably need to start hunting for a new shortstop in the off season. Um, yeah. There's not much I can really do to change this lineup at all because of your bizarre insistence on playing Jorge Mateo despite my explicit orders not to. Like, I'm not going to fire him over it, but I'm really thinking about firing him over it. Meaning Mark Kotze. Like, I'm all for playing good defensive players, but not at any cost. And right now, it's definitely not at any cost. It'd be super awesome if we could just win the division. I'd be pretty happy about that. Oh, we can have Angelis back. Do I still want him more... Yes, I do want him on the roster because he might be the one guy that you'll actually accept at second base without benching him every other game for Mateo. Batter of the month. Brian Reynolds. Neat. And Mason Miller was pitcher of the month. Equally neat. Oh, really? Is Mason Miller is a closer now? I could have sworn you would have put Liam Hendricks there, but I'm here for it. End of lay regular season. Do we really have anything to play for? If we win this game, does it affect anything at all? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Seattle's already clinched a division, so it really doesn't matter if we win this game or not. We are in the playoffs, though, and that is the best of news. Who did we leave off the playoff roster? I actually agree with leaving Alcantara off the roster. I think we're a better team with this set up done with him I could leave Mateo off the roster just to piss him off and I kind of think I'm going to do that because I'm sick of his shit so off the playoff roster because right now I do want another pitcher um, I do want another pitcher and I think it'll be McGill how many pitchers do I have right now I have 13 pitchers like maybe I don't need another pitcher I'd like an outfielder though please Yeah, let's do Alcantara. I think he's a little bit more useful than Mateo. There we go. Done. All right. Uh, play oof coverage. Hand finished today. And finished. 
finish today. Can we get past the first round of the playoffs? We're about to find out. Uh, that's a big nope so far. And yeah, not even close. Woof. Yeah. Oh well, um, we made the playoffs. Oh, that was cool. Uh, very cool indeed. Oh, I can start doing international free agent stuff. Very neat. Very, very neat. All players. Give me... Mr. Bottasini. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Invite them all. Wait, what? Go? International scouting screen. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I think I was just on the wrong screen, so I didn't know what I was trying to do. Let's do mail. Yeah, fuck you, Melendez. Um, and run that practice, please. Moronta, you jackass. I don't know who that is, but he's clearly the scum of the earth. Damn, the Royals ended up winning the World Series. I can't see I saw that happening. Good for them, though. I'll run another practice with these exact same people, please. Okay. So Brian Reynolds avoided his contract. This is utterly predictable. Um, I'm a little surprised that Liam Hendricks didn't get what he needed, but I'm okay with that. Um, I made the playoffs. You wanted to pick a shortstop. I agree. More stuff there. Let's go ahead and get some scouting, uh, some coaching stuff settled, and then we'll go. So I could promote Javier Goddard, but I think he'd be a better choice as our third base coach. And... Jose Vicente, you're a really good coach. 
but I don't think you're a good hitting coach. Whitmire is, though, so Whitmire is going to get promoted to double A. Kuzmanov is fine, but I think Vicente is better, so I'm going to promote. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, Dave Daniels is an amazing coach. Let's get him promoted. He will... Wait, what's the deal? Why will he not take... Oh, because Haye is not actually uh, a promotion for him. Manuel Alvarez, on the other hand, I'm sure would love to be promoted to Haye. Okay, so let's hire a new pitching coach like a David L. Carpenter. And then for the major league hitting coach, I'm going to hire somebody who's like really great at it. Like Joey freaking DeMonte. What a dude. Let's make it happen. I'd love to get Dom Gianelli. We'll try it, but I, we probably don't have a huge amount of luck, but we'll see what happens, right? Um, let's finally do some arbitration decisions. First things first, you're getting a qualifying offer, Mr. Reynolds. It, it's not even a debate. Okay. I have a lot of calls to make here, but we're going to make them. Okay. Taryn Vavra. You were fine? I think there's still more to you, though, and so I'm willing to give you one more year to figure it out. Okay. Nick Allen wants $2 million. Hmm. Okay, Jorge Mateo is the easiest choice of them all. Non-tender. Anybody give me anything interesting for you? You will not. Then I will happily allow you to test free agency and see if anyone else will pay you that much money. Um, I need a backup second baseman that I can trust, so I don't mind giving that to Nick Gordon. Oh, uh, Miguel Vargas was really good for us this year. Let's go ahead and give him an extension. It's a big raise, but he's earned it. Uh, Pozo's just a really good hitter that can happen to handle catching, and I think that's interesting. Here's my issue. Well, I think you're a very talented hitter, and I certainly wouldn't mind buying out some of your arbitration years. I don't think you're going to age very well. And you're a backup catcher. You're not a starting catcher, you're a backup catcher. What if I give you a four-year deal and just buy out your free aid, your arbitration years? No, you want to get paid a lot of money. And I'm not going to be that guy. So let's just do the one-year deal for $2.5 million. Oh, you can have your arb estimate and not a penny more, Shay. Here we go. Done. Mason Miller's been a pretty reliable pitcher for us. I think he is worthy of an extension. Let's 
submit offer, please. Tyler McGill, not so much. Tyler McGill is a bit overpaid. I'm going to try to trade him, but if I can't get anybody to, to give me something decent for him, I'm going to non-tender him and he can try free agency. Um, McGill's making a bit too much money to be a worthwhile pitcher to keep. Non-tender. Ken Waldachuk wants an awfully big raise, and I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it, but I am saying that I don't want to get caught paying too much money for a, a mid-tier reliever. So let's do three and a half million. It's fine. Um, Marinaccio. You were actually really valuable to us, so I will go ahead and give you that one-year deal you're looking for. Done. Matt Manning. Like, am I gonna do a lot better than 2.8 million if I sign someone off the open market? Probably. But it's worth keeping him around until I'm sure I don't need him anymore. And 2.8 million really isn't that much, even for the Oakland A's. Fujinami. Okay, you're done. This number right here. You were only looked as good because you had the best Babbitt in Major League Baseball. That's not really all that sustainable. And as you age, your walk rate's just going to get worse. I think we're going to trade him. No, maybe. Well, the biggest issue is obviously going to be Brian Miller or Brian Reynolds because I'm not bringing him back. I can't afford it. That ain't going to be a thing. I mean, I could trade for like a Billy Fal Bailey Falter. He seems like an okay pitcher and he's really cheap. Ethan Small as good stuff movement. Not great control. Yeah, he's really struggling with walking people. That makes him not a great fit. Daniel Lynch is merely okay. Ryan Mata. There's a lot to like about him, but also a lot not to like about him. What's Tyler Holton's deal? Eh, he's fine. Let's get Bailey Falter. I think I like him better. I'm trying to look at these folks here and see if there's anybody here I could possibly snag. Gustavo Rodriguez seems like he'd be a good pickup. I wish he threw harder, 
but this is still a pretty good picture. And who else might be available? And what about Abel Bastidas? I can't give you that, but I can give you this. All right, then we have to come back in here and Falter wants 3.2 million. I think he will get less. Oh, he's grumpy. That's fine. I'll offer you 2.5. So a non-tender McGill, non-tender Mateo, everybody else gets a new deal, except for Nick Allen. Allen is the last guy I'm not too sure about. When does free agency get announced? Oh, right. Arbitration has to be dealt with first. Two million for Nick Allen still makes him pretty tradable. So let's go ahead and offer him his one-year deal. And then we'll see if we can't get deep in the market for something really special. Yeah, that's not happening. And I'm not giving Liam Hendricks a giant raise either. That's just dumb. Offer minor league contract, minor league contract. Cool. Uh, so that concludes today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, please remember to like the video if you haven't already. Subscribing is always appreciated. But until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you.